Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all having a good day today. I'm having a good day. It's been a slow start here. I find that if I don't shoot a video in the morning before Lady Shorts goes to work, I waste too much time. It's now 11 o'clock. Uh, it's too late. It's, well, it's not too late. It's later in the day, day that I like to start, start filming a video. I like to get them done earlier in the day so that the rest of the, the day I can do whatever else is going on. Um, I do really enjoy these videos, but if I can do them sooner in the day, then it puts me into a better mood sooner in the day. Not that I was in a bad mood. I've actually been in a really good mood this morning, too. Um, <clears throat> I was tired this morning, though. I actually slept in. I don't even remember turning off my alarm. Uh, alarms, that is, actually two or three of them, just in case my backup alarms didn't even wake me up. But that's okay. I obviously needed a little bit of extra sleep today, so I'm glad that I got that extra sleep. I'm feeling good now, and uh, yeah, feeling ready to continue on with some laundry. It's all done in the washing machine now. Why am I talking about laundry? Sorry, you don't care about my laundry situation. Um, let's talk about a sauce review here. Um, this is the first sauce from our good friend Debbie Bartram in Cornwall, UK, and it's also, well, obviously it's the first <laughs> product in our Cornish Chilies lineup. This is Cornish Chilies Ketchup. I'm stoked about this because, admittedly, ketchup is not my favorite condiment. I used to love it, but as an adult, I just find it it's a little bit sweet, and um, I don't know. There's other uh, there's other condiments out there that I'd rather use. If um, if I'm gonna use a red sauce, I'll usually reach for a hot sauce, um, and then this one is a chili ketchup. So come on, focus on it. There you go, a chili style ketchup made in Cornwall using a hundred percent Cornish chilies. That's really cool. Um, it's a different style bottle. This isn't your typical woozy bottle. Uh, it's got a really abrupt shoulder on it here. I, I think that that might... Um, I don't know what the word is. That might cause <laughs> um, sauce plugs because it might kind of get stuck on that shoulder, but I have no idea. I'm really intrigued by this bottle shape. I don't know if I've ever seen this shape exactly before but it's made in the UK so that's really cool uh, ingredients are tomatoes sugar spirit vinegar chilies 5% garlic and spices handmade in Falmouth by Wellington Catering Company um, gluten-free and suitable for vegetarians and vegans I'll read you their little write-up that they have on the side here a conversation had and an idea started. A mutual love of chilies shared and Cornish chilies began. In the heart of our wonderful county was the place to start our journey with the desire to grow and share our passion. Also, see our Cornish connections range. Um, Cornish chilies on Instagram and cornishchilies.ltd.uk is their website and I will show you a close-up of that because Chili's has two L's in it um, you may notice that different areas of the world spell Chili's differently there's one L there's two L's there's IE there's just I at the end there's a bunch of different ways to spell it there's no right or wrong way it's just the way that it is in different areas of the world I think that's really cool you can kind of sort of almost get an idea of where something came from just based on, on the, the spelling of it, the, the wording of things and things like that. Another thing that I'm just noticing right now is this cap. I've never seen a cap like that before. That's cool. Different. It's different. I like it. So, let's give this a shaky shake. It doesn't sound like it's moving very much in there when I do that, but I'm sure, I'm sure that it is nicely mixed up at this point. There goes that. <laughs> what do you call that? The recycle? The It's not the heat, but it's just the, the air, the fan. I guess it's just a fan. So let's open this up. It smells like ketchup. 
I don't know why though. Isn't that weird? <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you again, Debbie, for sending along this parcel of snacks and spicy things and even that whale right there that Maggie is cuddling with. I, I may have put it there before she came over. She was actually laying under the table and I put some toys on the couch to uh, for her to cuddle with. She needs her toys. She loves her toys. That whale has quickly become like probably her very favorite toy. So thank you very much, Debbie. That's very sweet of you. So let's see if we can get this to pour. That's one of the things about ketchup is it's it's a lot of times a harder one to pour. Thicker thicker sauce, right? Yeah. It wants to. There's a little drop there that wants to come out. Come on. I do have a towel on the ground. tap method doesn't work, work as well on this bottle I find. I have that method where I tap up here, but this bottle's heavy. <laughs> it doesn't quite work with one hand. Come on, here we go. This would be a lot easier over a plate of food and not over a little spoon. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, let's give this a try. Just a little bit there. I'm not expecting it to be super spicy, but I'm just going for the flavor. Um, Cornish Chili's Ketchup from Cornish Chili's in the UK. Send over from our friend Debbie Bartram. Keep my shorts. Mmm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> really doesn't want to come out of there. Let's go this way, actually. That's a good ketchup, and you know what? It has a bit of a sting to it. More than I was expecting. There we go. Give it the shake. That seems to be working. Just shake it out of there. Hear that? She's snoring. That's hilarious. <laughs> Having a lot of trouble pouring this. <laughs> it's delicious. It's really good. It tastes, it really reminds me of those spicy ketchup chips that I reviewed the other day. Oh, well, there we go. That did something. Oh, I just settled it all back down to the bottom. I really wish we could get a fuller spoon of this. Kind of like ketchup in, well, I was about to say ketchup in real life. <laughs> this is real life, Steve. <laughs> That's hilarious. I was going to say like Heinz or something like that, like a an actual ketchup company. Where was I going with that? Why was I mentioning that? I totally just lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, because it's hard to get it out of the bottle, like, like I remember with ketchup. That's okay. I'm not going to stand here and shake this all day. Hmm. So it says garlic. I was about to guess onion in this. I, I'm sure there's got to be onion in this. Spirit vinegar. I want to, I want more. <laughs> it's so good. It has like, it has a tickle. That's why I want to have some more of this because I think that I think that I could actually get to like you know right now it's moving my needle but it's not putting me to a one out of ten but I think with a couple of good sized spoonfuls of this stuff 
could definitely get me to a 1 out of 10. Come on. <laughs> should have almost had like a little glass of water on hand to drop some water into this just to thin it a tiny bit. That was Uncle Bullcow's idea actually. Um, that barbecue sauce, the uh, pineapple barbecue sauce of his um, was a little thick which is fine but he said put a couple drops of water in it and it'll thin it right out and I did that and it and it did. It worked wonders so thank you very much for that Uncle Bullcow. Great tip for if your sauce is a tiny bit too thick. Just thin it out a little bit and it won't change the flavor. That's a good size spoonful. That's really nice. Yeah, definitely. I'd say I'm at a 1 out of 10 from that. From that combined amount. After that good spoonful last time, I want to try again now. The bottles usually get easier after the first couple of pours. If, the, if they're a, a thicker sauce, covering up the label now, but I don't want to drop this either. Oh yeah, here we go. I haven't shown you the consistency of it. I haven't talked too much about that. There we go, that's a good spoonful. Give you a close up of that. Yeah. It's a good looking ketchup. Actually, yeah, I didn't show you the label either. This is their label. I really like it. It's a cool label. Just a little pepper plant there and flat black kind of label and that different style, different shaped bottle that I don't know what it's called. It's not a woozy bottle, I guess. Let's have some more of this. Mm-hmm. Sting. Slight sting on the tip of my tongue. Little bit on the roof of my mouth. Um, and a very slight tickle back of my throat. And that's about it. It's 1 out of 10 on my heat scale. And that surprises me. I thought it was going to not even move my needle. So I'm impressed. Um, it's a good tasting ketchup. Um, it has that sweetness that ketchup does have. It's sweet. It's a ketchup. But it has a nice... It doesn't taste cheap. It tastes like a nice ketchup. And that little bit of chili sting that comes with that, that really sells it for me. Um, it also has pepper seeds and things floating around inside of it there. You can see little chunks of, there we go, up here, pepper, fli uh, pepper um, skin, I guess, pepper flesh there. Um, it's just a really great looking sauce. Can't see too much there on the bottom. Batch number 120. Yeah, um, for your, if for your average habanero consuming chili head, I would say that this would probably be maybe a 2 or a 3 out of 10 if you're into habaneros. If you're new or spice, if you're new or sensitive to spicy foods, if a jalapeno is spicy to you, you might find this to be like a 4 or a 5 out of 10. Um, it's got a good kick to it, a surprising good amount of kick. Yeah, it could be a 4 or 5 out of 10 for you if you do not do well with spicy foods. Would I recommend this? Yeah, absolutely, to almost anyone. Um, I would say anyone that likes ketchup, but I, I'm not a huge ketchup fan, and I'm a fan of this. I'm going to possibly start adding spice to the regular ketchup in the fridge. Uh, you know, I'll do two separate batches, but uh, see how spicy we can make a ketchup, because I won't change this one. I don't want to alter this one at all. I'm going to keep it exactly as is. This is a 
very unique product in this household, and I really like it just how it is. Still stinging me on the tip of the tongue. Back down to a, a zero, you know, it's a immediately backed off, but I can still feel it there. Just a slight roughness on the tip of my tongue. That's cool. Would I restock on this? Yes, absolutely I would. Um, I don't think that they ship internationally. Um, as I said, we got this from our friend Debbie Bartram, who lives in Cornwall, UK. So she sent it to us very generously. Um, but I don't know if they ship from Cornwall to Canada. I did send them an email to ask, but I haven't heard back yet. So hopefully by the second or third review, I will have heard back from them and I'll have an answer about that. Because I really recommend it. This is good stuff. Very good stuff. Um... As far as what I would pair it with, um, ketchup stuff, hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries, um, what's that stuff called? Shepherd's pie, meatloaf, yeah. What else? Mm -hmm. Sandwiches, stuff like that. Stuff that you would put ketchup on. Because <laughs> this is a ketchup. <laughs> oh, now I got a do it this way. That's weird. <laughs> um, oh, parrot almost fell over. What else? Right. One other thing. I had to make a note of this. I had to make a connection. I'm going to have a seat. Um, after this, actually, because I wrote a note that I'm reading. <laughs> I made a mistake on the yesterday's tincture video. Uh, I claimed that... Tom, at 15 seconds, had already done a review of the pineapple tincture. I thought for sure that he had, but I have been informed that he hasn't. Um, late for work, Jason has done a review of it. My apology, I, I forget. Maybe I didn't even see it. I don't know. I'll actually have to go back to late for work's channel and make sure that I watch that video because my memory's not as good as I wish it was, but that's okay. We go with it, and... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll definitely give you a shout out in this video, Jason, Late for Work, and Kim. Yeah, Jason and Kim at Late for Work, you are awesome. Um, so yeah, my apology for that. I'm going to have a seat and have a hangout with Maggie here. Oh no, you dropped your, your wheel. Oh, I forgot to move this. I put this thingy there so that Maggie doesn't take this, the seat in the middle. Because she likes to do that. She thinks it's hilarious. Me? Hey? You think it's hilarious? You look so sleepy. You look so sleepy. You're a good girl, Maggie. Hey. You like your whale? Where is it? Hey, do you like your whale, Maggie? Can I have a high five? Hey, can I have a high five? High five. Yeah, good girl, Maggie. What a good girl. Yes. <laughs> what a good dog. Maggie loves you, Debbie. We all love you. You're such an awesome person, and we're all so grateful to have you as a friend. You rock. Right, Maggie? Some Debbie bel belly rubs? Yeah. And Frank, of course, too. We love Frank. I sometimes forget to mention Frank. This, this stuff came from Frank, too. Um, Frank is Debbie's bearded dragon, who is a very handsome lizard. There um, you go. Like that. Yeah. You good girl. You good girl, Maggie. Yes. Good doggy. So anyways, that'll about do it. Um, um, the website, no, I did uh, read the website off of the bottle. Cornishchilies.ltd.uk. Thanks again, Debbie. I like this. This is for sure the best ketchup I've ever had. Um, you know, not, not being a huge ketchup fan... Myself is focusing on me and not the ketchup, but uh, I really like this stuff. This is delicious, and uh, yeah, I mean it's it's not like night and day difference between ketchups that I've had. It's like it's a quality ketchup and it has spice, and that's that's enough to convert me to a spicy ketchup lover for sure. So thanks, Debbie. <laughs> um, wrap the video up here. I guess I kind of have to block Maggie here.
like that maybe. <laughs> um, in this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. Make sure you click that, click subscribe if you haven't already. In this corner, I'm going to leave Late for Work's logo. Make sure you hop over there and give them a subscribe too. Awesome channel, great people. Up here, two relevant playlists for you to enjoy. Have a great day, everyone. I love you all. We'll hang out again soon, I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.